Hey there everybody, Arlos here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 137 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Trooper Let's Play with ZT here on the Gravestone, uh, Gravestone, Gravestone, and oh boy, the Gravestone has been under attack for a while. I uh, apologize for the, this series kind of going on a little bit of a hiatus, but um, uh, some things happened. Uh, I took a work, or took an unexpected work trip, uh, took an kind of unexpected uh, uh, trip for my girlfriend for her birthday uh, and then uh, this whole uh, virus thing has happened so um, sorry sorry about the episode being late uh, I am perfectly safe where I am I'm actually working from home now so I should be able to do a lot more episodes actually going to start some streaming some more uh, and stuff like that too actually I will be streaming um, today essentially uh, this should be up at about 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to start streaming almost every day at noon Pacific Standard Time, at least Wednesday uh, and Thursdays, uh, and then uh, any other days that uh, I can stream, I'll probably be streaming too, just to kind of have some fun with that. So hopefully you guys are all safe and sound, uh, everything's all good, you guys got uh, all the food and stuff you need in case uh, you guys need to be, need to be in home uh, for a little while, so hopefully you guys are all safe and, and taking care of each other, so uh, hopefully everything is all good. But uh, before we get into this episode here, I want to go quickly go over the uh, comments from last episode, uh, so a comment from Kenzie uh, Woodham saying you wish you could still play but you don't have a pc anymore oh that's uh, that's too bad mackenzie but hey at least you have these videos you can watch and if, if you do end up ever getting a pc again or say this game shows up on consoles or something like that um definitely uh let me know and i'd love to play some star wars public with, star wars old public with you and even if you can't play you can totally head into the discord and stuff like that and chat and whatnot with uh with me too about the game or about any other games and stuff like that uh so mackenzie uh hopefully you're still enjoying the videos and uh you can play star wars a little bit through me which would be kind of fun so uh, thank you for that, Mackenzie. Uh, also, the comment from uh, Michael Coffee saying, really enjoying all the Star Wars, the public content. As Nancy, you never got to enjoy it uh, for, but for a few months, um, uh, your Let's Play, we were able to see the different classes, the unique and their own personal stories. Uh, terrific stuff. Uh, and thank you for the series. So thank you so much, uh, Michael Coffee, And thank you, uh, wife Nancy, uh, for being awesome and enjoying all my videos. You guys have been, have been super, super awesome uh, with everything. So I'm glad you're still enjoying the video. Sorry this video is so late. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to get back into her. Uh, also had a comment from Tux. Uh, Tux Fox uh, YT saying you really enjoyed it. I'm glad you really in, enjoyed the, the video there. Hopefully you enjoyed this one just as much. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this much, uh, this one uh, as much as the last uh, last ones for sure. But uh, let's uh, get into this here. So uh, a little bit of a recap. Uh, so uh, uh, Valen and Scorpio have attacked. Gravestone kind of took it over. We were able to kind of come up here and rescue some of the crew, but uh, Valen is uh, currently um, kind of underneath an area and uh, kind of on top of a a bomb that uh, our good friend Koth put into the uh, the gravestone to keep it from uh, into other people's hands. But uh, we don't want it to blow up because well we're on it, um, so we need to go and defeat a Horizon Guard who is over here and uh, oh. We got some more enemies over here too. Some assassination droids or super side trooper assault droids. Feels you guys. Oh, Zeki, it feels good to be attacking from afar again. It has been a while. Wait, you're down. Oh, oh. Come on, do I? Mortar strikes and knock these guys all down. You okay there, cop? See we doing all right. Did you get back up? You did get back up. Sure. There we go. That's better. All right, let's keep going down here. Keep my eye on the, the map here to make sure. Oh, well, there we go. So we got a Verizon, or Verizon, Horizon Guard. Uh, I'm ready to go there. So let's uh, deal with you. Let's uh, electro net on you. Throw some assault plastic, sure. There we go. We got the light on fire a little bit too. Push it back, kind of be. Up in my grill here. I don't like that. Oh, that's gonna cancel that. Go. You're down, so let's continue to the Dark Sanctuary. Ooh, we got some new pants, too. Um, nope, not good enough for me. Not good enough at all. Okay, so let's head down. I'm kind of excited to um, hit max level so we can start getting some items that we can uh, use to actually upgrade our character. 
and we get more more DPS and more defense for sure. All right, this way. Oh, Valen's made a mess of my ship. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Exponentially kill her, or you will die. <laughs> Scorpio said you'd come. I owe her credit. Scorpio is manipulating you just like your father is using me. They want us to destroy each other. Don't let them win. Oh, I. Hey! There's a bomb under your feet. You tear up this place, you'll set it off. Never mind. We've got three minutes. I've waited long enough. If I slice open your skull, maybe father will spill out. Oh, okay, we got three minutes and Time Balin wants to, to fight. Die. This is not going to be good. Okay, let's use our heroic moment here. Maybe we can use our orbital bolt and strike. And uh, use some force power against her. How about that? That's force lightning. You're nothing but a pawn! And so are you! Oh, I should... oh you got out of it. You got out of the circle there. That's okay. I wonder what this purple circle around you means. There we go. Slowly taking the her down, though. Mine. Uh -oh. Do you hear me? Mine forever! Nope. I won't let you have it. That's for sure. These are charge bolts here. Give me full auto. Do that while moving, which is good. Oh! I will not allow this. Not this time, Father. That went well. Any other brilliant plans? I am not finished. When I'm done with your precious Outlander, you and Mother are next. Such hatred. You are my daughter. We are family. You caged me like an animal! You were a danger to yourself and others. I made you safe. You feared what I would become, and you were right. If I die, the Alliance lives on. They'll never stop fighting. Good. I don't want to get bored. Kneel before the Dragon of the Cool. No! Oh, that's not... Did you think I locked you away to punish you? No. You had to learn. You had to be conditioned. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. What did you do to me? If you fight, you will die. Where's Balin? She's gone. No time to explain. I can't disarm the bomb with that shield in place. Take out the power relays. All right, so Balin's got some conditioning going on. And uh, we need to take out these power relays. Uh, how do we do that? Looking for glowing purple things. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's a power relay, but it's covered up. Oh, well, it's not. Maybe I can uh, interact with them or something. No? Okay. Same trouble as before, I think, last time I did this. Uh, what do I do here? Disable the shield power arrays. Oh, maybe I have to use the console here. 
No, okay. I want to disable these shield power arrays. Alright. Open my map here for a second. Oh wait, right. I think I need to go to the need to go to the power relay rooms, I believe that's where. We're running out of time! Yeah, there we go. That's what we need to do. That's what I forgot. Alright, let's deal with these guys. Let's do it once here. The shield's still up! Kill more power relays! Well, I should have. Oh, apparently that killed me. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. Okay, so let's uh, head back in there. More power relays to be taken out in this room. No, I took out all the power relays in this room. Okay, that's good. And let's use this little pathway here to get in there. I believe you guys were letting me know before, too. Like, there used to be, like, a timer for this. You'd they'd do it a certain amount of time. I'm glad that this doesn't exist anymore. Get the power relays there. Take out these power relays here. Yeah, oh my gosh, there's tons in this room. It'll take a long time to repair there, Koth. It would be nice if you didn't put a bomb in my ship. Why not? Hit those ones from here? Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Better. I need to back up and around again. Koth, we made this extra hard. Oh, well, let's do our uh, fortification there. I've got you. Okay, that's done. Let's see if there's any over here I need to get. Got a bunch on this side. Ooh, ooh, there it, it is I'm saying there's a time. timer. That's not good. That's not good. There they go. There they are. Uh, where are the other power relays then? Let's hit this door. Okay, this way? Okay. Ooh, lots of power relays. Should feel better now. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, we got all the power relays down. So let's head back to Koth here. See if the next plan of action is. Hopefully Phelan got off my ship. She should be scared now because she knows that we know the code to uh, stop her from being able to move and easily to kill her. That's it. Bomb over. The crisis may be averted, but my daughter still infests your ship. You did something to Valen. Shut down her power. Her aptitude with the Force made her extremely dangerous. Even as a child, there was only one solution. I conditioned her subconscious to respond to a simple phrase. Kneel before the dragon of Zakul. Speak these words in Valen's presence, and you activate her conditioning. She will be powerless to strike you. You're controlling Valen's mind. How could you do that to your own flesh and blood? If not for her conditioning, you would be dead, along with the rest of your allies. Now Valen's pride is wounded, her weakness exposed. She will be more dangerous than ever. I'm getting a signal from Theron. The Eternal Fleet jumped to hyperspace. It's just our ships out here. I've got reinforcements with me in the docking bay. Orders? Secure the bridge and don't take any chances. Alert me if you find Scorpio or Valen. Reinforcements? Hell yeah! And we didn't blow up!
You ever pull a stunt like this again, the gravestone gets a new captain. I'd like to see you try to replace me. Okay, point taken. This vessel is under my control. Organic beings have a few moments to abandon ship. After that, your lives are forfeit. Is that all I am to you? Another organic being you can't wait to get rid of? I have learned that the Gravestone, the Geminis, and the ships of your eternal fleet are all extensions of my technology. I must understand how we are connected. People have died so you could work out your family tree? Most of those lives were lost in your war. I killed only a few myself, and it was rarely personal. You betrayed me, like all the rest. I am unlocking hidden files and subroutines in the gravestone that are older than the Eternal Empire. Let us keep a little perspective. You want perspective? Scorpio! Where are you taking us? The Gravestone wants to go home. Oh, this is an interesting turn of events. So they're still on our ship. Let's see what's next. Where dreams may... May die? Is that what it's called? Said. Check in a moment. No sign of Scorpio or Valen. They can't leave the ship while it's in hyperspace. If they want to re-steal the gravestone, they'll have to come here. Wonderful. I'll make punch. The hyperdrive is locked. We're on this journey to the bitter end. Which is now. Sublight engines cutting in. Company! Lots of it! That's the whole Eternal Fleet. Balin and Scorpio's transport. It's getting away! Stay calm. Scan the enemy ships. Are any preparing to attack? They haven't even raised shields. The transport is hailing us. Commander, I have made a wonderful discovery. The Gemini units, the Eternal Fleet, the Gravestone, they did not steal my technology. We are related. The Gravestone's computer revealed we were all created here, and you have aided our journey home. I promise to remember you kindly. If all this technology came from the same place, it changes everything we know about Zakul. Perhaps. But that is not your main concern right now. Valen and her remaining soldiers are sabotaging everything they can. You may wish to stop them. I'm seeing power surges all over. Shields, life support. The Omni Cannon. For whatever it is worth, I hope you survive. Koth, help me fix the Omni Cannon. The rest of you, save the ship. It's like Valen's still on the ship, though. Which is Scorpio left. Okay, so let's go repair the Omni Cannon. We did get a reward from last, uh, last, uh, Got campaign covered. thing there. So, where dreams die, that's where, that's what it's called. Okay. Let's, uh, head in here. Oh. Got some more skytroopers and stuff here, so let's deal with them. Glad to have, uh, other allies here now with us, though. Always, always reassuring if I'm not with us. Oh, I kind of like how they love how there's, there's enemies behind it. You can clearly see we're fighting, but just, just ignore it. Get that army cannon back up in case those uh, Eternal Fleet ships decide to turn on us for some reason. Or turn on their shields and start attacking us. That would not be good. That would not be good. Okay. Statue down. Sky trooper almost down. There we go down. And then heavy sky trooper down. Good job. Thanks, Scott. Let's go to the weapons deck. Let's 
the uh, if we can even fix the Omni Cannon. Should find out soon enough. Oh my gosh, it's so many Eternal Fleet ships. It definitely feels like the gravestone of these uh, these ships are being drawn into this planet here, which is really cool. Oh, I love this camera angle; it looks so awesome. Commander, where are we? Omni Cannon to bridge. Come in. Hello again. I like your friends. They'll look lovely in my trophy case. Don't do this, Valen. You're not your father. You can be better than him. Finally, something we can agree on. I need a new corpse to hang on my wall. If I can't have you... The tweed looks no good. Her coloring clashes with my decor. Valen adapts quickly. She cannot strike you down, but she will find other ways to hurt you. You stopped her from killing me. You can save my crew. That will not be necessary. Something is coming. That can't be good. All right, seeing a white light, waking up somewhere new, definitely not. Uh, a good thing going on, but uh, we'll definitely see what is up here. Alright. But hey, if it stopped Valen from killing our uh, our allies, that's a good thing, right? Theron. Lana. Does anyone read? So, communicate with a strange remote. So, protecting program. So, uh, reprograms a strange remote to focus on protecting the protection of biological ent entities. Uh, aggressive, so attacks enemies. And healing, where it heals me. I want to have you, have you heal. How about that? Looks like uh, we got ourselves a medical droid over here. So, let's go talk with you quickly. Do -do -do repair all cell junk. Uh, let's see what we got here. You are... Oh, you're... Um, so items I got recently. Let's see here. Let's so uh, actually can I dismantle any of this stuff? No, I can't. Uh so then yeah, let's sell some stuff, let's sell that. To a companion. Yeah, sell those. Yeah, just sell that stuff. Works for me. Sell it all for now. 
definitely gonna have to go through and buy a bunch of items sometime soon. Alright, so find your crew. Oh, we got ourselves some custodian droids. Looks like they were burning... Burning this vegetation away here. And uh, trying to burn me away. I'm gonna just walk in. Completely unknown planet. See some droids doing some work. What's my first response? I'm gonna shoot them with my gun. Well, one of them follows me around. Nothing weird about that at all. Okay, compactor droid. Oh, you can shoot from range too. Jerk. There we go. Deal with you. Thank you, uh, strange remote for healing me. Awful nice of you. A ruined atrium here. Oh. Oh. These custodian remotes were, were friendly. Completely. Well, I mean, not friendly completely, but they were uh, yellow barred. Not anymore. They turned red as soon as I attacked them. That's okay. Take them down now, too. Get some credits from them there. Nothing down here at all. Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's something blue over here. Deal with that. Oh, there's some more of those remotes over there, too. Okay, so the remotes are... They seem a little bit larger, maybe the same size as this guy, and they're rotating around this larger remote. Okay, so... Uh... What is it? Technoith? Technoith? Exercise caution. Biome under reconstruction. Uh, errors. Responsible for your own injuries. Oh, okay. Um, so test report 08... Oh. Minor attack here. Uh, oh, it is shooting me. That's okay, I'll shoot in the background. Uh, deployment of new designs on test environment JX uh, 967A24 were, with, or were within acceptable parameters. Our three initial drops of waves suffered heavy losses before planet fall. Uh, test subject resistance. Our resistance was unexpectedly, unexpectedly heavy, conflicting with prior scout reports indicating minimal military forces. The subjects deployed single pilot aerial countermeasures to intercept us. Uh, but that self-sacrifice appears to be the full extent of the response. Total time to plan a wide surrender was 28 standard hours. Our master designer show, or should be honored. Uh, for this significant improvement over the last three test environments. Uh, Servitors received our standard compensation package. Or survivors, sorry. Uh, received our standard compensation package. Uh, but damage to their civilization's infrastructure is extensive. Analysis estimates it will be at least 2,000 years before we can test this world again. Our scouts are already searching nearby systems for fresh prospects. All right, so it looks like they... Uh, found a planet and just kind of attacked it to see how long it would last. Uh, apparently that one only lasted 28 uh, hours, which is uh, not very long at all. Not very long at all, that's for sure. Makes me think, like, if, if an advanced civilization attacked uh, our planet, how long would we last? Probably not very long either, to be honest. I can leave you guys alone. You guys don't seem to be hurting anybody. Let's head up here. Oh, we also have a bonus objective, Shadows of the Past, to access uh, four more of those techno technolists. Let's see if I can find those. Leave these custodian remotes alone. They could be cool. I the chains hanging off them and stuff. Be awesome design. Actually, I love the design of this whole planet here. Oh, it took one shot to take both of them down. Awesome. Oh, here's a second one here. Let's deal with these guys. I seem to be doing a lot of damage to these guys. That's good. Can I? I can't. Can't use them. Okay, let's use this. Too far away. A reminder that under that obey established additional support. Helpful chemical reactants. Subjects who reject. Negative reinforcement. Thank you. Alright, test report 195821.78. Per the master designer's request, our analysis have our analysis have completed a detailed study to explain the total failure on test environment uh, Z17A 
X558. The details of their findings are available in a separate report, but in summary, the test environment's proximity to its star, coupled with previously undetected trace chemicals in the upper atmosphere, reacted negatively to our new particle beams, the resulting electrochemical chain reaction ignited the entire biome, destroying the test subjects and our deployed designs uh, within moments of activation. Well, this can only be considered an unmitigated disaster uh, for a return on investment perspective. Uh, we will ha make the most of our losses. The master designers team will recalibrate their particle beams to a lower yield setting should we locate another planet like this. Uh, we can retest our creation and hope for more satisfactory results. So that's a uh, lead design analysis. Uh, Pev Turin. What was the other one? Oh, that's a huge jump in numbers. So this must be like probably thousands of years between uh, test analysis there. Analysis? Analysis? I don't know. I don't know. Pluralize. Pluralize. Talking is hard. <laughs> Pluralizing words it can be hard sometimes. And that's for sure. Alright, can I use my rocket boot? I can. Oh, apparently that wasn't even the right way, technically. Okay. Yeah, like, it looks like, like this area clearly has been, like, on its own for a while. Interesting. Interesting. Right, let's head up here. I'm fighting. What am I fighting? Fighting something coming around this corner now. There we go. Oh, oh. It's a, uh, a contactor droid. I didn't see that. That's good. <laughs> Did he just laugh? And then uh, to do your hail of uh, bolt shot and turn around, that's uh, a little silly on your part. Not gonna lie, you're just like, I'm so good, I don't, don't even have to look at you when I'm shooting. You. Right, some more of those. Do I get experience from these guys? A lot of it? How much do I get? Oh, not very much at all. 11 each time. Considering I need like thousands get anywhere. Not too worried about that. Okay. It's also kind of weird that like these machines would attack me, but this strange remote thing watches. Maybe it's that's exactly what it is. Maybe this is a test here, and they're watching me how I how I deal with things in my destructive ways. All right. There we go. Go to next. Get it down now, good. Make sure I'm not missing one over here. Well, it's just custodial remotes, okay. <laughs> they just like explode as soon as I, as soon as I hit them. What are you doing hitting the ground like that? Is that supposed to intimidate me or something? I don't know. Okay, was that good? Good job. See some of these funny guys over here. Deal with them. Just spraying on me there. Another more up here. Take these guys out. There we go. This feels like they, they spray a chemical on you that probably. Um, it's probably ignitable. You spray a chemical down, then use a fire to like burn things away. It's definitely how uh, I'm guessing synthetic life would deal with organic life. Burn it away. Burn it away. 
I mean, must have been left alone for forever. Some of these trees are really... Oh my gosh. It's like the ruins of a whole city here. And the fact that those trees have grown that, got, grown that large, but I mean, maybe those trees were already there if this is a city, right? So, I mean, looking, looking... Why can I not hit you here? Right, just hit you with this. I think I got knocked into the wall somehow. They're down. Alright, where are we headed to now? Alright, this looks a lot different than where I was. There's another one of those uh, technolists up here. Oh, it looks like I was in a, in a biome there. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks like I... Greetings, visitor. I am... I can answer queries regarding geography. Hist... Uh, error. Please, tell me how I may serve you. I came here aboard a starship. I had people with me. Tell me where they are. I am unable to process your requests. Please redefine... <laughs> error. This is the Selruvian Biome, sector 8022 of the engineered world designated Iocath. Well, that clears it up. Commander? Torian, I wasn't sure you survived Valen. Do you know how we got here? Hoped you could tell me. I was on the bridge, there was a bright light, and I woke up on this Daryaim surrounded by machines trying to kill me. Please, tell me how I may serve you. I can answer queries regarding geography, Mr. Mr. Error. Trespasser, disruptor, you pollute the garden. Stay back! We preserve, we cleanse. Alright, so we got some uh, Knights of Zakul here. It's easy. Defeat the Knights of Zakul and uh, defeat. The swarm droids. That's what they're called here. Okay. Let's head down there. So yeah, they're just trying to... The swarm droids are just trying to protect the planet. I mean, we're technically trespassers here. <laughs> Knock them all down. Love it. Oh, there was some sound. Okay. There we go. We preserve. We cleanse. Cleanse that. Knights of Zakul must have been on the Eternal Fleet. I don't think they came by choice any more than we did. Something dumped us together for a reason. Some kind of test? Commander, come in. It's Theron. I read you. My comm's been offline. How'd you get a signal? Downlock and smart tech. Are you having the same creepy day I am? Knocked out by a bright light on the gravestone, woke up alone on this weird planet? Until now, I feared the worst. If you and Torian are alive, that gives me hope for the others. Whatever happened up there saved our lives. For now, anyway. I found a, uh, museum? Temple? Whatever, it's secure. I'll send you the coordinates. The best news I've heard all day. Find the others and tell them where to meet us. Already on it. You and Torian be safe out there. Valen was on the gravestone with us. If we're here, so is she. There she is. Oh, but she's trapped in a room. Excellent. Of course, Zeti doesn't know that, but good to know.
I missed you, little sister. All right. Here we are. Where are we headed to? Ooh, items, free items. Let's grab that quickly. Well, we can. And let's see where we're headed to next. Where are we headed? We need to rendezvous with our crew. And we still have two of those uh, things to find. Looks like our crew is going to be this way. Let's see if we can find them. Yeah, we still have, sorry, still have three of those techno things to find. Gosh, internal fleet ships all over us. Beams going to the sky. Looks like they're still coming in too. Yeah, it looks like that's the biome I was in. And uh, there's definitely a lot more around here. Looks like they were probably, probably testing something in there. Right, the garden here. Whoop. Down from those, but there is a technolith here. A reminder that under that obey established a additional support. Right. Uh, chemical reactors. Uh, reject. Negative reinforcement. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. I'll read that one in a second. I just want to take down this guy. There is a swarm coordinator. It looks really cool. Gotcha. I like the little look of the swarm. Uh, and droids for sure. There we go. I don't believe you. No, I don't. Well, let's just take a look at... Could it so we'll go right to where I want it to go? There we go. Um, test report 249216.39. It is my extraordinarily, extraordinary honor to report on the test of environment WL428T. 7-3 succeeded beyond all projections. Every design element performed with minimal deviations from their expected functions. Millennia of eternal research and development have finally produced a fully uh, integrated and optimized planetary assault platform uh, suitable to any environment uh, or resistance pattern. On a personal note, it has been my sincere pleasure to work with the greatest master designer in our long history. I must add one small amendment to this report for the sake of completeness. Analysis uh, examining the test environment has discovered a vast underground vault consisting of several now extinct uh, natives with no surviving test subject to explain its function. Uh, we can only theorize on why the structure was filled with cultural artifacts with little practical value. We have uh, leave, or we will leave the vault to be discovered by whatever life emerges on the test environment in future uh, epochs. Uh, perhaps they will be able to explain their predecessors. Explain their predecessors. We will return to test them. So it looks like they, yeah, they find a planet, uh, do a test test to see if they can uh, take over the planet, and then if they if they can, or it seems like most cases they can, they they leave the planet again and uh, let it evolve and, and stuff on its own, which is interesting. Interesting way to do it. Oh, oh let's deal with you guys. Let's uh, <laughs> knock some of them off. Oh, they don't go very far. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hop down here now. I'm just gonna hop down here. Let's just jump down here. Deal with these guys. You're a little closer to the edge. Haha, <laughs> you fell down. Down forever? Yes. Dogs are at this. Should we shut up? Are you <laughs> running like crazy? Oh, no, no, no. Cells. One more over here. There we go. Oh no, there's still more. One more red dot running around here. I'm coming. There we go. I like how they're. It's like, um. 
like their swords are like just made of like pure like plasma and stuff like that which looks awesome but uh you know what before we continue examining this uh this world i'm gonna end uh this episode here so thank you guys again so 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 very much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this hit that like and subscribe button if you guys don't like this you can hit that dislike button too but hopefully you guys are enjoying them and uh yeah hopefully you guys are all safe and sound uh at home uh if you can uh, stay at home if, if you even get a chance um, call some loved ones or even some uh, relatives that uh, that might be alone at this time and uh, friends and all that fun stuff that's uh even though uh, a lot of us have to stay kind of sequestered and uh, self-isolation at home it uh, doesn't mean we can't still call and talk to each other but uh, yeah thank you so much if you guys and if you guys do need to talk with anyone hit me up in the discord link in the description below uh again i'm going to do my best to try to talk with you guys down there you can even send me a message if you're feeling bored too uh, i'll do my best to try to respond to some of those too so thank you guys again so 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 very much you guys are awesome and amazing and as always until next time keep a stick on the ice